welcome back, family and friends. If you're new here, I'm Rachel, and this is All Glory Farms. So we owe you all an apology. It's been a long time since we have edited and released a video. We've done a few TikToks here and there, some shorts on YouTube, a few little updates on Facebook, but nothing real significant. And uh, the last video that we put out was the loss of four out of five of our bottle babies, our feedlot calf, Carol, and our steer, Mike. We got hit really hard. So what we're going to do is we're going to catch you all up going clear back to January and just kind of give you some highlights of some of the stuff that was going on in hopes that we can get back to where we're at right now and then just bring you weekly content so that we're not loading up on a whole bunch of videos that we've got to go through. I mean, I have over 300 videos and clips that I've needed to sort through. <laughs> to bring you all some stuff some content so it's going to be a couple of videos catching you up right now this is brutus he's the last of the bottle babies and i don't know if you saw his tail he did have scours but he it was a very small case he came through it just fine and we're introducing him to the rest of the herd farm life doesn't stop just because things get hard Look at him just running after Andy. He is following you. Everybody else is coming to meet him. Hi, Brownie. There's Brownie. Yeah. Since you're taking him out. Hey, since you're taking Blondie's him Blondie's already there over eating. In the, in the shop and give her her own bowl of feed. She is too thin. Way too thin. We noticed at this point that um, Brownie was looking a little thin. Now, she is nursing a calf, so we decided to start bringing her in because we weren't, we weren't milking Brownie. We decided to bring her in and start giving her some feed. Another struggle that we had was sick chickens. This is one of the Spitzhavens. We had frostbite and we had this. A couple of chickens get this. A couple healed and a couple passed. Those poor chickens. I, we just, listen, we gave them a whole lot of stuff. And like I said, some of them healed, some of them, a couple of them didn't. Uh, so this is the morning of the 29th, January 29th. This is five days after we introduced Brutus to the herd and everybody was getting along just fine. The early morning hours, Andy and I were woken up to sounds of coyotes really really close it, it sounded like we had coyotes right outside of our bedroom window so um 
Andy had gone out twice in the middle of the night darkness. He had his uh, pew pew <laughs> and didn't see anything. We didn't see any uh, any coyotes. But when we were doing morning feeding, we noticed that Brutus was missing. And so this is. Yep, we found they were. Brutus. But my question is. Did they get them from somewhere else? There was no neck wound. We don't know what happened with Brutus. He was doing great. No scours, no issues. He was with the herd. Him and Brown Sugar were playing and he passed. That's why the coyotes were so close because it was a free meal. Um, Andy going out a couple times in the morning, early hours of the morning, three, four o'clock in the morning is the only reason why they only got a little bit. He scared them away. But this was the last of our bottle babies. All of them had passed. It's not like we hadn't had bottle babies before. As hard as this is, farm life doesn't just stop because you're sad. So here we go. Hi, Porcha. Porch chicken. <laughs> Just set it outside of a hole. Don't put it in a hole. There you go. Yes, they were. They're like, make it rain, feed. Who is she barking at? Yeah, I'm videoing you, brown sugar. <laughs> yes, you are so pretty. Get out. Oh, the couch is going bye-bye. It's going to open up all that space. I wonder what we're going to do with it. It is time to give these piglets a lot more space. They've done a great job with what they started out with to the point where they were digging some pretty big holes <laughs> looking for those roots. But we are giving them the entire front yard. And yeah, it, we're hoping that we will have no more burrs after these pigs are done ripping everything up. One finally realized that it doesn't have a fence anymore the other ones are staying in the original area but this one this one was the smart one look at that tail go so excited
I just love moving these guys. They're just so much fun to watch. thinking about it. course, Jet's got to uh, come check it out, too. Anything we do on the farm, Jet's got to be right there. Now that the pigs are released into the big yard, time to go to the feed mill. These guys work so hard and they do such a great job for us. Like they work with us. We've uh, tweaked our, our mix and, you know, any questions that we have, they're always really good at answering them and it's awesome. We love these guys.
call Kitty Kitty, Torcha ran up here faster than he did. Come here, Kitty Kitties. Come here, Kitty Kitties. Oh. Are you gonna eat some too? It's not gonna hurt you. We bought this trailer, eh? All right. So that shopping trip wasn't for us. What you're looking at is our daughter and her husband's new house. They bought this house kind of sight unseen. We, we did a lot of the legwork for them and with them. But uh, yeah, they're going to move from California to Oklahoma. They replaced all of their furniture, except for the, except for the bed. Every, all of the other furniture they got secondhand and did a great job, got some good prices. And so the boys' room, their bunk bed, like they are super excited to leave California and get into this house. So that's what you're gonna see next. I'm going to take AJ and we're gonna go to California and help Adeline and Jed and their kids move to Oklahoma. Here we go. So we made it to California and here's AJ holding his nephew for the first time. As you can tell, there's all the stuff that's still in the house and all of that needs to go into the U-Haul that I picked up in Yuma. Now that most of the furniture is not going because like I said earlier, they got a lot of furniture off of Facebook marketplace for a really good price. So it saved them a lot of money in moving across country and yeah, it's time for them to leave California and come to Oklahoma. Look at that sweet little face. Yeah. So excited. They're going to be here full time. Yay. All right. We've got everything loaded up in the U-Haul that is going to Oklahoma. Everything else either has somebody coming to pick it up or is going in the trash or is going in their car. But we got everything loaded. And on this trip, the oldest grandbaby is going to travel with Nani and Uncle AJ. We're super excited. We got the big load in the back of the truck, the heavy equipment. We've all got it. We've got it all loaded. Everything's ready to go. Yeah. Haven't traveled with toddlers in a while. So let the fun begin. <laughs> hey, ask your daddy to show you what's in that backpack. That's just for the trip. 
got it. Okay. See what we got in here. The uh, mess of toys, dude. Look, like you got some books too. That's yeah. all yours. Yeah, that's for the trip. I have mine. You want to hold on? You to can it? have it now. All right, here you go, buddy. I'm gonna put it right here. Okay, don't tip it. All right, it's got your books in it. Say bye, Nani. Dad. Okay. See you in a couple days. Listen to Nani's words. No, All right. You. you go get up there and say bye to Co hey, say Coda. Hey, Coda. Mm. I love you. And say bye bye to Coda. He's in the back seat. Mm. Say bye to Coda. Bye, Coda. <laughs> say see you in a couple days. Bye. <laughs> say love you. Bye. Okay, come oh, here. Yeah. Uh, you're not riding with Nani this time. Do you want to go get coffee with Mama? <laughs> You don't want to get coffee? Oh. Are you going to miss Nani? Let's go. Hey, let's go give Nani. That's so bad. Did you hear the big truck start? Come here, Bubba. Sure. It's only going to be a couple days, you okay? Nani, she'll let you honk her horn. Come here. You, you want to honk Nani's horn? Come here, you can honk Nani's horn. Honk the horn. Show me how strong you are. Honk it. Push, push, push. Good. Nope, not those buttons. These buttons. That button right there. Push, push. with your hand. Push. Oh! Whoa! Do it again. You gotta do it with the flat of your hand because it's tough. Ready? Oh! Good job. High five. All right, give Nani kisses. Jed has my phone, so I can't reply. I love He's you. Away. Oh, what are you going? All right, Coda, are you ready? Yeah. Let me see your face. Are you ready? Yeah. yeah. Here we come, Oklahoma. Helps if I turn the brake off. Whoa. Say goodbye, Coda. Bye. Say see you in a couple days. Bye. Are we riding? Are you excited? See a rocket show? All right, here we go.
I'm not looking at you. I'm not looking at you. <laughs> oh, look at that smile. <laughs> oh, you're a wiggly guy. He's a wiggly. Oh. I haven't seen your face yet. This way. Is this better? Is this better? Is this better? Hi. What are you doing? Oh, you're so sweet. Yes, you are. Oh. They're gonna be fast friends. All right, let's go inside. Coda, who's that? Coda. Coda. I missed you. Wait, wait, wait. Who's that? Daddy. Daddy. <laughs> Don't, don't fall asleep, Bubba. Do you want to see your new big boy bed? Huh? Look at that. That's Louie. Gotta stay awake. We're almost there. Almost there. Bubba, stay awake. Stay awake. We're almost there, Bubba. Louie. Louie. Stay awake, Bubba. You want to see your new house and your new big boy bed? Ooh, yeah? Okay, we're just a few seconds away. Look at the keys. Look at the shiny keys. Look at the keys as he yeah. puts them in a trance and falls asleep. I'm not trying to put them in a trance. <gasps> Here it is. Here's your new house. Here's the new house. You want me to pull in first? Yes. Can you see it? It's over there. Just wait. It's right there. Look, right there, Louie. Right there. Oh, isn't that a neat house? Wow. Do you want to see a new big boy bed? Yeah. yeah? Okay. Papa. Papa's right here. All right, you ready to get out? Sure, we got to put your shoes back on. <laughs>
All right, back to business. Earlier in the video, I mentioned how Brownie was looking thin. Well, it looked like all of them were looking a little thin. So we did a deworming. We started with Safeguard, didn't seem to touch them. So we did a one-two punch, a class one and class two de dewormer on all of them. And our friends, Lynn and Leah, they have a dairy farm, came over and took a look and said, yeah, you need to get some better hay than what we were feeding them because of them being dairy. Uh, they needed higher quality hay. So we got this very expensive alfalfa and we're just praying that this will work, that this will help the girls get their weight back on, their body condition back and you know, start looking a little bit better because they're, they were looking a little thin and we were very worried about them. So Leah and Lynn, if you ever watch this, we are so, so grateful to you too. We appreciate all of the help that you've given us, the advice, and more importantly, we really cherish your friendship. And there's that alfalfa all unloaded and uh, out of the elements, it's in the shop. The cows are going to get their first taste of it and the chickens because they're always right there. But we're praying that this really helps our cows get back into better body condition. Uh, I just wanted to take a moment to say thank you for all of you who are tuning in for standing by our side, all of you that sent us messages, all of you that posted on our Facebook or our TikTok or commented. Um, we appreciate the support. I know it's been a while. I apologize for that. Sometimes things get away from you. Uh, we also needed a moment to sit. We needed to be still to figure out what our next step was, where we were being led, how we were being led. We needed to listen. So we have some amazing things coming up. We appreciate your support. We look forward to sharing more with you. And one last thing. Frank and Beans, we will be finding a new farm for them because we are going to go a different direction with our livestock guardians. We love them very much. We, we have been very blessed to have them, but we're going a different direction. Until next time, God bless you.